Hey guys, this is Hiking Nerd. I wanted to be the first to bring you a consumer video review of the Flex Capacitor Backpack from Sierra Designs. The Flex Capacitor is a lightweight, full suspension backpack that is expandable from 40 liters to 60 liters using a unique patent pending gusset system. I'm 5'9 and 155 pounds. The medium size fits me perfectly. The backpack features a top lid zipper for easy access into the main compartment, a top lid pocket, two mesh side pockets, a shoulder strap pocket, two hip belt pockets, and two ice axe or trekking pole loops. It also comes with a removable hydration pouch. The flex capacitor is made of 100D nylon poly ripstop, which is nylon fabric that's reinforced with Dyneema, and a 420D nylon oxford fabric on the bottom. The mesh pockets are made using the most robust stretch mesh that Sierra Designs could find. The suspension consists of a removable Y-Flex DAC aluminum stay, which is similar to those found in tent poles, and EVA foam in the hip belt pads, lumbar pad, scapula pads, and shoulder straps. It also has load lifter straps and an adjustable sternum strap and waist belt. When everything is properly adjusted, the flex capacitor carries weight incredibly well. When compressed to 40 liters, the pack is quite narrow and short, making it great for those who wish to travel light and fast. If you carry a bear canister or just need a bit more volume, you can expand the gusset and the pack will hold up to 60 liters of gear and supplies. Rather than expanding vertically, the pack expands horizontally outwards to keep your center of gravity low. And as you consume your food on the trail, you can compress the pack down. With all its bells and whistles, the Sierra Designs Flex Capacitor weighs in at 2 pounds 10 ounces. It can be further lightened by removing the 1.5 ounce hydration pouch and the 2.5 ounce aluminum stay. You could even remove the hip belt if you carry ultralight loads, though there are packs on the market better suited for that purpose. Currently, the pack has an MSRP of $200, which is in line with packs from big names like Osprey, Gregory, and Granite Gear. Personally, I really like the following aspects of this backpack. Volume. For three season use, 40 liters is just the right amount of volume for my 11 pound loadout, including the pack. Initially, I was concerned that my items would bounce around inside the pack if I didn't fill up all the space, but you can use the compression straps to reduce the volume even further if needed. And boy, is this a nice looking pack. During the winter, or when I backpack in parks that require a bear canister, the 60 liter can hold all my gear without the need to lash anything to the outside, except for things like snowshoes. Suspension. The aluminum stay design really helps spread the load to the hip belts, which are nice and tall to reduce pressure on the hip area. And the lumbar pad fits nicely into the small of my back, despite how prominent it felt when I put on the pack for the very first time. Zippered top lid. Sierra Designs uses a nice, beefy, number 10 YKK zipper for the top lid. This was a major selling point for me since there is nothing easier to operate than a zipper. The rain guard provides some protection, but any experienced backpacker knows that they should waterproof the interior with dry sacks or trash bags. Shoulder strap pocket. This heavy duty mesh pocket can hold a 20 ounce water bottle or bear spray. It's one of those features, like the zipper top lid, where you will never be able to go back to a pack that doesn't have it again. Am I too greedy in wishing for two of these shoulder pockets? Side pockets. The side pockets are just the right height for me to grab a water bottle on the go without taking the pack off. They are made of a thicker and more tightly woven mesh than what you would find on an Osprey pack. Color. I love the muted color scheme with the red accents. Sizing. Backpack fit can be very personal. My torso is 19 inches long and my waist is 31 inches, which puts me in the middle of the range for the size medium. This sizing seems accurate. Sierra Designs plans to eliminate the medium size and to only have two backpack sizes, a small medium and a medium large, starting in the spring of 2017. It's not the perfect backpack though. Here are some things that could be improved. Weight. There are many packs that are lighter than the 2.5 pound flex capacitor. There are certainly some design compromises that could be made to lighten the pack further. However, I think the weight is perfectly acceptable given that it's the only pack I need to cover the whole range of trips that I do, 
from weekend trips to long summer hikes in the Sierras to when you're backpacking in Canada. Non-adjustable shoulder straps. The shoulder straps are attached to the pack and are not adjustable. Depending on your body shape, this means that you may not be able to dial in the perfect fit. No back mesh pocket. I think if Sierra Designs could think of a way to include a large mesh shove it pocket without impinging on the gusset functionality, they would include it. It's what a lot of users seem to want. However, I've found that it's really not necessary given how easy the top lid opens. For example, normally I would put my sit pad into a shove it pocket, but with a flex capacitor, I just put it towards the top of the pack, and then any wet clothing can be hung on the compression straps to dry. The lack of this pocket may take getting used to, but it's not a hard feature to give up. The top lid zipper can snag. It's a hate it or love it situation with zippers, but one solution is to keep the rain guard flipped up in good conditions like this. No whistle. I'm used to packs that have a handy whistle built into the sternum strap buckle. I rarely use it, but it's nice to have on group trips, especially with virtually no weight penalty. Here, I've shown you how you can attach a whistle to the sternum strap on the flex capacitor. With this purchase, I now have one light but capable backpack that can handle all of my trips. Whether you're already a lightweight backpacker or someone looking to shed weight from your pack, the flex capacitor will help prevent you from packing unnecessary items to fill that empty pack space. You can rest easy knowing that even as you upgrade your gear piece by piece, you won't need to replace your old pack with a smaller one. That concludes my review of the Sierra Designs Flex Capacitor Backpack. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see other related videos, please hit the subscribe button. And feel free to leave me any questions or comments in the section below.